Declaration of Principle number seven. You ready? All right. Declaration of Principle number seven states, we affirm that the examples of prophecy and healing that are contained in the Bible and other sacred texts of all world religions, really, are divine attributes found in all people. Now, that's very important because what that is saying is that by our very human nature, our spiritual nature, really, in our human form, we are naturally intuitive. We're naturally psychic, mediumistic, right? Our gifts of spirit, every person has the potential to unfold gifts of spirit. The Bible clearly speaks of this in the book of 1 Corinthians, chapter 12, verses 4 through 11, and in other places as well. I am very well aware of other books in the Bible that speak against this, but isn't it just convenient that there's a contradiction? And isn't it just convenient that it seems to control the process and not want us to unfold our divine nature? You see, even the Master Jesus, our brother Jesus, who was a human being born just like you and I, and his soul was so incredibly evolved, uh, and he brought forward that vibration we call the Christ consciousness to the planet, to uh, really to this universe. And he embodied it so beautifully. But what's interesting is that Jesus demonstrated all of the gifts of spirit. So did the prophet Moses, did he not? And so did many of the other prophets of the Bible. As you may or may not know, the vast majority of a Bible, the books of the Bible, are titled people's names. Why? Because those are prophets. All of those prophets had gifts of spirit that were powerful and very unfolded. Now, Jesus had no problem teaching the average human, uh, human being like you and I to unfold their natural psychic and mediumistic and, and healing potentials, even gifts of exorcism and, and other things, a gift of prophecy and, and, uh, and remote viewing, curious things like that. There's lots of examples in the Bible. And if Jesus had no problem teaching the average human being, meaning the disciples in his little tribe, then he certainly would have no problem with each of us unfolding our God-given innate natural abilities of intuition, of mediumship, of healing. And I want to encourage you to find someone in your community that you consider a leader or a beautiful example of that. And I want you to go learn. I want you to connect in a higher way to the world of spirit and to use your gifts in a way that can be unfolded to serve others. That's what they're there for. They're not to be used selfishly but they're used there to be used selflessly in service to other people. Uh, let's go ahead and take a, a, a deeper dive and let's go into our Declaration of Principle number eight, which is right here. Click the video. I'll see you and your gorgeous self in our eighth video in the series.